Well, looking ahead right now, the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society's Light the Night Walk is just weeks away, and it's going virtual like everything else this year. Like everything else. You know, COIN is a proud community partner of our local chapter of the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, and although things are looking very different this year, LLS is still working to help those who are living with acute blood cancers. This morning, we're joined by this year's Light the Night honored hero, Lindsay Reese. Lindsay, good morning. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, first, just tell us a little bit about yourself and, and your cancer fight. Um, well, um, I was diagnosed with AML um, three years ago in 2017. Um, and it was it was rough, you know, hearing the words you have cancer at the age of 39. So um, I was diagnosed then and then I had the only way for survival was a bone marrow transplant. Um, which took place in October of 2017. Um, and that last, they consider you a survivor at two years after transplant. Um, and I made it to about a year and a half. Um, and then I relapsed and it came back. Um, and again, my only chance of survival was another transplant. So I had that done in June of this year. And I just hit my 100 days, which is a big marker. Um, and we'll see, you know, I've got to wait till the two year mark, but I'm hanging in there and um, trying to stay positive. Yeah, uh, you've that's kind of the so quick much. version of that first 100 days. I know that yeah. is a big one yeah. and, and mm -hmm. hoping this trend continues in the right direction. Yeah. And so how has a LLS supported you. you through this whole journey? Um, well, I would say they have given me hope for sure. Um, you know, I didn't know much about LLS before I got sick. And then, you know, once you hear those cancer words, your life kind of goes on pause. Um, but they've just been amazing. You know, they've given me, they check in with me almost weekly. Um, they update me on new programs that come out, um, whether it's, you know, peer support or financial or whatever. Um, they've connected we, me with a lot of other people um, that have gone through this before. And I've made some good girlfriends through that. And two of which live in my city. So, um, yeah, they've just been amazing and I've been to many events and they just, they really know how to do it up. Um, they make me feel special and a part of their family. So I can't, can't complain at all. <laughs> oh, I mean, I think it's, it's interesting always just some of the ways that, that everyday support, those simple things can be so important. But then on the other hand, it, it's really running the spectrum because they're also raising this money for this groundbreaking research and treatment that is, is truly changing outcomes for people. Uh, so yeah, all, I mean, all of I wouldn't even needed. be here. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't even be here today probably if it wasn't for their research, um, you know, and the money that they've raised to, yeah. to fund that research. So, and what is on the horizon there for sure. Uh, so I, I know, mm -hmm. um, you know, that is why we need to continue to help raise support, uh, through events like light the night. What did you think when you were selected as this year's honored hero? <laughs> well, definitely honored, <laughs> um, little nervous. As far as, you know, this is my story and it's important to me, but I just don't know if it's really that important to other people. So for me, um, you know, just a little hesitant on, on sharing my story, but um, yeah, no, I was excited. And um, for Light the Night, it's, I've always wanted to do it since I got sick and learned about LLS, but um, the first two years when I was sick, I couldn't do it. Um, one, I was in the hospital. The, I think I actually was in the hospital both years for it. And I got to watch it, you know, from OHSU from up on 14 K. Mm. Um, and it just looked like a cool event. And like I said, I've been to other LLS events and they really know how to put on a party. So I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah. Um, and it's going to look a little different this year because right. of the virtual component. And it is such a pretty mm -hmm. event to just to look at. Um, but are you excited to maybe get out in your neighborhood? Because that's, I think, what they're encouraging people to do. Yeah, yeah, I am. Um, I'm just, like I said, I've been gone for the, uh, the first two years. And so I was really excited to be a part of it this year. Um, but we're going to make do. And yeah, I've talked to my neighbors and we're going to watch it and then, you know, go for a little walk and I'll have my lantern. Um, you know, I'm excited to do it, do it with my kids. I'm healthy enough to be home with my kids and my husband and, um, you know, just keep involved in any way that I can. 
Well, Lindsay, we're certainly uh, excited to be with you in spirit this year for our virtual Thank Light you. the Night. And, uh, you know, you said anyone who, uh, you don't know if other people are going to be interested in, in your story. I hope that people out there watching are because uh, this can happen to any family, any, any mom, any wife, any brother or sister at any time. So uh, for everyone out there watching, we need the support now more than ever. Uh, so we're all cheering you on. We're going to be behind you here for Light the Night this Thank year. You. Thanks for joining us this morning and, and take care of yourself. We'll talk to you again soon. Thank you. Thank you. Of course, and you can join the virtual Light the Night this on Saturday, October 17th. You can go to coin.com right now if you'd like to register for the event and start that fundraising early. Participants who raise $100 get a lantern and a t-shirt in the mail. I know you got to get that done uh, a little bit ahead of the virtual event mm -hmm. this year. So. Go get those dollars raised and, and we'll see you for a virtual light the night. Very cool. Okay.